Now, recently when we were making handrails, making the bends in them, we've been doing with Lyman's pliers and jeweler's pliers and things. And I've had this tool for quite a while. This is a bender. And you lay the wire in this notch. And then when you pull the lever, it bends it. The problem with this one is if you've got a piece of 015 like this, you can't get a good bend with it. it it's too big for that. And so I was looking at this and I thought, you know what? I bet I could make one of these that is smaller and finer so that I can bend 015 with, with a lever like this. Uh, this happens to be called the Dubrow Easy Bender. It's pretty neat if you're using bigger wire it's it's really good and now that this one's reversible so you can make on one side you can make a double bend in a wire so that's kind of cool but all I want to do is be able to bend like right angles and 45s so I built a tool now to build this tool I used a piece of aluminum bar bar stock from the hardware store it's happens to be quarter inch thick Took my hacksaw and I cut off two pieces. One piece is slightly longer and one is shorter. And then I drilled a hole for, this is a 3 16th brass rod. So I drilled a hole and put a piece down in there, cut it off. And then I took one of these precision saws and I put just a tiny cut in the top of it. And that's easy to do with these. Just put them in an X-Acto handle, and you can, and they will make that that uh, little cut there in brass very easy. So then all I had to do was drill another hole for the lever part, and then drill a hole next to it. And I drilled that hole for a piece of this uh, 564 brass. Now if I put this pin right there. Now it's almost the same as, as the other one. So if I load the wire in here, and then I pull the lever, it bends it. Now, I went to the trouble of doing some threading and stuff. That's totally unnecessary. You do not need to thread it. You don't need to tap a tap so you can screw stuff into it. Just drill a hole, and then just super glue this guy in there. It's, it's just that easy. So let's try it. So we're going to use my little vise here. If is why I have not tried it on this vise. If it doesn't work here, we'll go over to the big one. Okay, now i got to be just above the jaws. So that my lever will work. We'll tighten it in there. Okay. Okay. Put this guy down there. Because this hole is a little far away, it's farther away than I wanted, I wasn't sure that it was actually going to work. But let's take a piece of 015 and we're going to see if we can make a bend in it. Now, the way this is going to bend, it's going to bend. Let's get you a really good top-down look at it. Where the bend is going to be is right at the end of the opening. And if I pull it, see that? Maybe that was too far. That's not bad for first first try. Let's put that back in there and see if we can get a better, a better 90 degrees. A little bit. I kind of messed it up by holding on in the back of it. I'll fix that with the pliers. Let's try a different one. Let's put you in here again. And I should smooth it out so it sits much flatter. Let's try. Let's try this. Oh, no, I did it again. See my finger holding it? That's... 
You don't do it that way. That, that was wrong. You got to hold it by the very end, kind of. Because I messed up my bend. Okay. Let's see, did I get one this time? That bend is pretty good. See that little corner there? That's what I wanted. That's not too bad. What I can also do is I can probably take this guy on the lathe and turn him down and I could make it just a bit tighter. So I can make turn him down a little, little tiny bit on the end. So I have a little peg to put in there. This is just our first, first try on this. I think we'll go ahead and and do more and uh, improve it. Now that I know it is just as easy as drilling a couple of holes and not messing around with taps and dies and things, this will be a very handy tool. And then I'll probably take my scribing pencil and I'll scribe on here various angles. And that would be, that would help me get like on the front, the front handrail of a locomotive. You need a couple of really good bends. They gotta be the same. This is gonna be a handy tool. And we can definitely improve on it. But it's that easy. You don't need special tools. You need to, you need to be able to drill the holes. You need a hacksaw to cut it. And then you're ready to go. I polished it a little bit on the polishing wheel, but um you, you could just sandpaper this. Make it nice and smooth. But there it is. That's a handy, handy tool for bending super fine wire.